Hey everyone, welcome to the 3D Printer channel. Today we're finally going to get to testing these fans. I've shown them on the channel before, but assembling this uh, six blade uh, version and printing out these before, but I haven't really talked about um, how it was made and this is kind of the first fan that I've just kind of free handed on the channel because uh, I don't know, I wanted to see how it turned out and so it's a triple variable airfoil design um, and it's just something I thought would be good, basically increasing the fan height as much as possible to kind of move as much air uh, towards the center where it requires less torque and low pitch at the root or at the tip rather to keep the fan spinning fast and keep the Reynolds numbers higher. Um, yeah, and then we talked in our last video about how these printed out differently and this one much better in my opinion, although I think I'll improve the hub uh, mechanism to assemble easier soon. Uh, but we're, what we're going to test today is just uh, put all these fans on this uh, empty knock to a chassis over here at 12 and 18 volts. And then we're going to get to some smoke tests later and we're going to record the noise for all of it. And uh, we're probably going to get to record with and without this chassis as well because... I, I think this will create a pressure difference that just having the fan in the open won't. And uh, this will have a feet per minute reading. Uh, and I would like to put it behind the fan here and right here in this chassis and kind of compare the results because I think there will be a pressure difference. And, of course, it's not in the same place either. So, yeah, let's get started on that.
so to sum everything up we got some very interesting trends from this data here and what you're looking at right now are the flow rate charts uh 12 volts in this column 18 volts in this column the free fan chassis in this row and the ducted test in this row so the seven blade did really well uh in the free test you can see that the five blade did the best the best in uh the ducted test and these first four columns for all these charts are the fine waveform cpu with uh, obviously the last one being the noctua 12x25 so i mean the flow rates are scaling with the voltage as you would expect but very interesting trends otherwise between the free and ducted tests and another interesting thing is you can see that the six blade six piece actually did the best in the free test but in the ducted the six blade single piece did the best so i'm not sure why exactly that is but if you think you know we can discuss it in the comments below other than that uh it's very interesting the ducted test i don't know if it's a good representation of an actual pc case use case but i think that noctua would have done better uh if uh if it were I mean, obviously, there's lots of cases in, in a PC, you know, a GPU fan, CPU fan, inlet, outlet, radiator. So maybe adjusting the duct to have it uh, adjustable would uh, be a better test. Maybe even putting some pressure sensors on it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. But for now, I'm very pleased with the fan results. Uh, for the free chassis and I guess overall for the fine waveform CPU uh, I think it is cheating a little bit, you know to break the manufacturing constraints that Noctua has uh, And also making the fan a bit larger actually protruding from their stock chassis makes it easier to win obviously, but uh, I think fans or PC parts in general are getting very Specialized so there might be a use case for something like this um, but maybe that'll need more testing. But anyway, looking at these trends, you know, and trying to find a solution, you're not going to find it in the RPMs because these basically have the same fingerprint for everything. I mean, the Y minimums are at 1100 for these 12 volt tests and 1700 for the 18 volt tests, but the fingerprint overall is very much the same. So if you're wondering why the seven blade is so much better in terms of flow rate, in the free case than it is in the ducted case it's not because of the rpms i mean it's slowed a little but so is the five blade so again if you think you can explain this then uh, leave your opinions in the comment section below and we can have a good discussion about it there but as far as the sound you know i don't really trust any of these results so i'm not going to draw any conclusions because you know the when the heater kicked on and the and the plumbing started going i you know i continued recording but i don't think uh it's a good result but maybe you guys know of some kind of noise focusing test equipment that you think would be good for a non-perfect sound environment you guys can let me know about in the comment section but yeah to sum all this up i'm very pleased with the results and i'm going to continue developing them especially the uh kind of six piece version that everybody should be able to print out and maybe this will be even keeping my own pc cooler in the future who knows so if you like this content uh leave a like and subscribe comment and uh check out my patreon and website and socials and uh, i'll have them in the description below until then have a good day and i'll talk to you guys next time peace